Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, Dr. Delio here for another ANSYS tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over ANSYS Fluent and uh, I'm going to be doing uh, basically flow over uh, a cylinder and uh, showing you a bit how to uh, create an animation file and, and uh, show you how the Von Karman effect looks like. It's really going to be a, 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 an introduction tutorial into ANSYS Fluent. So to get started, open up Workbench and uh, drag and drop a fluid flow fluent module. Uh, here we're going to rename this to uh, flow over a cylinder. Hit enter. Uh, and the, with the geometry selected, we're going to change the analysis type uh, to 2D to simplify the process. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, double click on geometry to open design modeler. So we're going to wait for that to load. Once that's loaded, uh, we're going to go ahead into the sketching tab and uh, click on the Z to face normal. Here if you want, uh, actually I'm just going to change the units to meters. Uh, for some reason default is in inches, usually it, pop it shows me a pop-up to choose my unit system, but just change it to meters. Uh, grid, we're going to show, show, snap. I mean this is if you, if you don't want to use the dimensions, you could probably just use the snaps, uh, it could be easier. Click on draw, rectangle, we're going to basically create our fluid domain here. Um, I'm putting an arbitrary uh, triangle for the time being. We're going to go ahead and dimension it though. Click on a vertical dimension. Click on this point, this line. And we're going to put uh, 7.5. And then for here uh, to here, we're going to put 7.5. Just going to zoom to fit. And uh, from this, uh, now we're going to change it to a horizontal dimension from here to here. We want uh, 16. And from here to here, uh, we're going to put uh, 14. Now we're going to draw our cylinder. So we're going to go ahead and draw a circle. And right at the origin here with the little P, we're going to create a cylinder and we're going to put a cylinder that's going to be one meter in diameter. So that's going to be our fluid domain here. So really in fluid flow you create the inverse of what you actually want. So in structural you create just the cylinder but here we want to create a big fluid domain and find the flow over the cylinder. So here we're going to go into modeling and then we're going to go here and create surface from sketches and then base objects we're going to go select sketch one hit apply and then we're going to go generate so there we go we have our surface generated surface body we're going to change the fluid here to uh, from a solid to a fluid okay once that's done you can go ahead and save your project it's always a good idea to always save so next we're going to move on to the mesh so go back to your work project schematic double click on mesh to load uh, the meshing Once that's open, I'm going to wait for it to attach. So there we have it, our cylinder and the flow over the, over the, the cylinder. Geometry, surface bar, we're going to actually change the thickness to zero meters. We're going to create a mesh just to see how it looks like. Uh, so it's like, it's obviously too coarse. We want to have a bit more detail around the cylinder. So what we're going to do is go ahead and insert, uh, first of all, we're going to change the method. Select your body. We're going to select the method here to triangle. We're going to add after actually sizing uh, around the cylinder here. And we're going to change the, use the edge selector to select the edge. We're going to change the element size to 0.025 meters. If you want something more precise, uh, I would suggest going with 0.001 meters. We're going to go ahead, right click and generate mesh. So as you can see now, we have a much more refined uh, mesh around the cylinder here. But it's not really uniform, and for the Von Karman effect, it's better if, if, if our uh, elements are actually uniform around the cylinder. So what we're going to do is we're going to add, ins right-click, insert, uh, inflation. And then for the geometry, we're going to select the fluid domain, apply. For the boundary, we're going to select, it's already on edge select, we're going to select our cylinder, apply. For the inflation, we're going to put first layer thickness, and for the first layer height, we're going to keep it the same value as the edge sizing, which is 0.025 meters. 
we're going to put uh, 40 layers and have a growth rate of uh, 2.5. Once that's done, go ahead and click update. And click on mesh, there you have it. So, so that's a lot more uniform mesh around the cylinder here. And uh, we're going to just change the, the mesh size of the global mesh here because this is a, a way too coarse for uh, our analysis. We're going to go into mesh, sizing, and then over here in max face size, we're going to put 0 0.3. And then we're going to update. So there we go. That's perfect. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to create name selections because fluid in ANSYS Fluent, uh, you need to define the boundaries of your domain. So this would be the wall, this would be where the inlet is, so where the flow comes in, and we want this to be the outlet. And this we want also this to be a wall or a solid object. So we're going to go ahead, use our edge selector, select this edge, control, select this edge, right click, create name selection, and we'll call this wall. Hit OK. And there we have it, there's our wall. Next we're going to do is we're going to click this one here, right click, create name selection, inlet. And then we're going to select this, right click, create name selection, we're going to call it outlet. Outlet. And then finally, we're going to select our cylinder, right click, create name selection, and call it cylinder. So we have wall, inlet, outlet, cylinder. Once you have that, we're ready to go to the next step. And we're going to update the mesh. So right click on the mesh here, update. Take a few seconds. And then we're going to launch setup. So double click on setup. This is going to basically launch the Fluent Launcher. We want double precision for this analysis. And for me, I have actually four processors and one GPU. So I'm going to enable that to compute a bit faster. Hit OK. Now we're loading ANSYS Fluent. Now, once it's ANSYS Fluent, we're going to go and keep the solver to pressure based, absolute 2D planar, we're going to change the time to transient, seeing as von Karman effect is a transient effect. Next, we're going to keep the uh, model, models as a viscous laminar. The material, uh, we're actually just going to change this, and uh, we're going to really make this simple. Um, you could actually go into a fluent database, and you could choose, let's say, water, and you can click copy and then it would add water as your, uh, as your fluid. But in, in here, I'm just going to do it really simple. I'm just going to call this fluid. I'm going to put the density as one and the viscosity as one, uh, really just to make everything simple. Click change, create, and then close. So now it's called fluid with the viscosity one and uh, uh, mu of one. Uh, so that way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have like, a, anyway, we want basically a Reynolds number of 80, so keeping everything simple, putting everything as one. So for our boundary conditions, because of the name selection, it already imported the cylinder as a wall, it, the inlet as a velocity inlet, the outlet as a pressure outlet, and the wall as wall. So that's the importance of, ha of naming our uh, selections before. So we don't have to actually change much here. The only thing we have to change is the inlet, and we're going to click on inlet, edit, and we're going to add a velocity magnitude of 80. So we want 80 meters per second flowing inside. Click OK. Next, reference values. This is uh, for the solution initialization. We're going to compute from the inlet. So click on that. Solution method, we're going to put second order implicit. And for the monitors, we're going to create a lift and drag monitor. So here we're going to create drag. Print to console, plot, select cylinder, select axes, select Y, disable the auto range because I already know what range this is going to be in. So I'm going to put uh, 1.2 to 2. Apply, close, OK. And then I'm going to create a lift. Print to console, plot, cylinder, axes, Y, auto range, minus 0 0.25 to 0 0.25. Apply, close, OK. So we're going to have a drag coefficient monitor and a lift coefficient monitor as we, as we solve. Solution initial, initialization, we're going to do a hybrid. Click Initialize. Uh, calculation activities, if you want to generate the movie animation, which we do, we want it to save the calculation every step. So we're going to put this to 1. 
Then we're going to go to run calculation, insert a step size of 0 0.01, maximum of 250, and a max iteration of 50. If you want something more precise, you can point 0 0.01. This will give you a much more accurate solution, but I don't have the time, so I'm going to put 0 0.01. Then we're going to hit calculate. So now it's going to start solving uh, the problem. I'm not actually going to wait for this to solve because I already have the solution. But basically what's going to happen is, this is these are your residuals, which will never really converge. Um, and it's basically going to go, it's going to basically alternate up and down, up and down, up and down. That's basically because, uh, because of the von Karman effect the, and the solution is a transient solution. So it will never really uh, uh, drop below, let's say, 1e e to the 6. Or actually it will, but anyways, the, the point is that it won't reach a steady state. Uh, so here, if you want to actually see your drag coefficient, you can click on CD. And you can see here now it's plotting your drag. So here it's 1.6 and it should go down eventually. And then here is your lift. Your lift is starting at zero because the flow is currently symmetrical. So there's no lift, but you'll see that because of the von Karman that, the, that this will start to fluctuate. So actually here I have an image of what this, these, these monitors look like after a full solution. And it looks something like this, not exactly, depends on your precision, but you can see here that the lift starts out at about zero, and then after one and a half seconds starts to fluctuate, and this is, a, this is due to the von Karman effect. And the drag starts off at about 1.7, 1.6, and drops 1.3, and then stabilizes at about uh, 1.4. So that's what you should see. Um, so I'm not going to wait for this. This is, you see, we're at 0.2, so we're still at the steady state here, and the CD should be dropping slowly. So I'm just going to cancel. You let this continue, and I'm going to basically now show you the finished results. So once the calculation is done, uh, you'd go in. This is now the completed one. You'd go and you double click on results, and when you double click on results, it'll open. Uh, CFD post. In CFD post, what we're going to do now is we're going to add a contour plot. So we're going to hit on uh, contour, click OK, and then here we're going to put uh, domain as the surface body, and location is symmetry 1, and what we want to see is the uh, velocity in the X, and we're going to go and hit apply. So there we go, there we have our velocity profile after a certain time that's probably actually at the end so if you want to change the time you can go time step selector and you can show let's say I want to see at 0.1 seconds apply so that's what the flow would look like at 0.1 and after 2.5 seconds apply that's what the profile will look like so you can change it uh, using the time step selector if you want to get a better quality of the contours you can instead of using 11 you can use 200 apply and there you have like a much smoother image uh, you can also again change this to the pressure apply this is the pressure profile at time 2.5 uh, but we're just going to keep it in velocity and X for now so uh, if you wanted to add uh, a streamline we can go ahead and click on streamline click OK and then uh, here we're going to go 3d streamline Again, surface body, and we want inlet. So we're going to do inlet, hit apply. Uh, sorry, was it surface body or no? Sorry, all domains. Oh, and uh, we're going to remove this check here. So there we go. So actually, all domains or surface body, it's, it will give you the same thing. So here you can have 25 equally spaced streamlines. If you wanted 100, you can do that, hit apply, and there you go. Again, if you wanted to change the time step of when this is showing, you can see, okay, after 0.3 seconds, what does the streamline profile look like? Hit apply. As you can see, the, the, vor the, the, the von Karman effect doesn't, hasn't really shown yet after 0.3 seconds, but after 2.47 seconds, hit apply, and there we go. So we're just going to uncheck streamline, go back to our contour. And to create now the animation, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to reduce the number of points to 20 because this is pretty intensive on the, on the machine. Oh, sorry. Uh, am I in contour? Double click. Uh, we're going to here, number of contours, we're going to put 20. Apply. 
And then to create the animation, what we're going to do here is click on animation. And then we're going to click on time steps. And then we want to click on save movie. So save movie, it'll, you could choose a directory, it'll call, you could change the name here instead of FFF, you can call it flow over cylinder. And then what you're going to do is hit play. And then it'll start saving each frame. So we're going to hit play. Oh, I already have a movie there called that. So we can call it flow over cylinder. Uh, and then we're going to hit play. And now what you're going to see is going to start generating each frame. So contour one loading, loading. So now it's, it's, it's actually loading each frame and saving it as this WMV file. So what will, what will happen is if you either stop it or if you wait for it to finish, you can go into this folder and find the movie file. So I'm not going to wait for this to be created because I already created one. So I'm going to hit stop. And I'm actually going to interrupt it and then I'm going to show you the movie file that uh, was created. So here I'm going to show you the animation that was created. So as you can see here, the Vaughn common effect and I stopped the simulation after about two and a half seconds. So I'll show it to you one more time. And there you have it. So uh, I hope this was clear. If not, uh, please uh, ask me some questions in the comment section below. And if you like the video, uh, please like it. And if you want to see more videos, please subscribe and, uh, and let me know or leave me a comment because I, I post from time to time. But, uh, you know, it's always good to have your feedback and appreciate it if you subscribe and like. So thank you very much.